Hello everyone. Welcome to the sixth and final session of the video series on the range of Swisska scales for grain and milled product weighing, for which Southern Illinois scale is the sales and service agent in the USA. Joining us today, as usual, is Andreas Kleiner from Research and Development at Swisska to talk to us about an application of the Swisska scales. Hello, Andreas. Hello, Ramesha. So, and I'm glad that I can show you some applications. So, in the past, we have uh, focused on, on, on each uh, scale individually. And now I like to give you an overview of, of uh, where they can be used uh, in, a, in, a, in a mill and especially in a, in a brewery application. So, let's start and I will share your screen with you. So, uh, again, just to summarize, all our scales are compressed or work compressed, they are free and uh, distinguished from, from many of the others available on the market uh, in terms of, of precision, uh, energy cost or any energy efficiency by, you know, because uh, they can save a lot of, of compressed air since we are using uh, servo drives and that's all stainless steel. They're all very uh, good when it comes to cleaning. So there are openings uh, that gives access to the inside, even to the bin uh, or the weighing hopper. It can be cleaned if, if needed. And it's connected uh, to a, a modern PLC system. So it has a modern scale control that offers all these individual interfaces that are needed today. So these are these uh, six uh, or five uh, scales that we have talked about. We started with the Grano, going to Gerbo, Micro, Macro and Flow Balancer. And today I want to give you an overview of where all these different types of scale can be used uh, regarding to, uh, in regards uh, of, a, of a in brewing, appli brewing application. So we see here a typical flow sheet with, a, uh, with an intake, with a pre-cleaning. There are some silos and silo bins, there's a cleaning section, and then there's a grinding and brewing uh, section. And you see all the, the blue uh, marked scales or signs, there are uh, symbols for, for scales, and there are different types of scales that can be used. And now we can go uh, quickly through all these uh, different process steps, and I will show you a little bit more detail how they look like or where they can be used. So as the intake scale, the intake is uh, when a truck or rail car is coming and unloads the, the hops or grits or whatever, uh, it, or wheat in the mill, then it's gonna going to through a pre-cleaner. And then you have usually a, a high capacity scale that can be the in, an INSCA, that's a hopper scale, similar to the chair where we are, we are we have talked about that's just a little bit um, the working principle is the same as the, the gerbil it's just a larger uh, type of scale it goes up to 100 tons for wheat or 80 tons for barley and the largest uh, single scale uh, for gerbil single scale goes up to 60 tons wheat or 47 45 47 tons for barley so but the, the they work exactly the same just look a little bit different uh, and the size is a little bit different. So these uh, hopper scales can be used also uh, as a, a scale that is legal for trade. So that's uh, when you uh, the intake scales are usually uh, must be usually uh, available legal for trade because uh, there's a you pay the, the supplier according to what he delivers and the supplier has to trust you that the scale works accurate. And so the hopper scale Gerbo is uh, available legal for trade in the US and in Europe. And this one is uh, available legal for trade in Europe. And if there's a chance, then we can do that also for the US. It has the same scale control, so there should be not a big issue to, to have a certification available for that as well. So this intake uh, scales, we call them intake scales, they are usually hopper scales because they work mo most accurate. If you move on, uh, the product is being stored into two bins 
in, in most cases you have different qualities or different uh, type of grains and from different uh, regions. Uh, depends very strong on, on, on your end product, what you want to do. And then you usually start blending these different uh, qualities or types together in order to, to, to have a certain end product. And for this blending and transferring, uh, most of the time uh, flow balancers are needed. So below each uh, bin, there is a flow balancer. And then uh, it's connected to a PLC, uh, which tells the, the flow balancer the, 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 the feed rate. And it adjusts this uh, the set or the actual feed rate to a, to a set point and and maintains it there. So uh, with this type of as you can run one or two or five or ten simultaneously, doesn't matter. So with this type of uh, flow balancer, you can make very accurate blendings to meet the, the high quality standards of the end product because they are very reprodu reproducible. Uh, set points and working uh, at the, the way they work, so, so it's very accurate in terms of uh, reproducibility. If you still move on in this uh, flow sheet, we then after the bins we reach this cleaning section, and before you start uh, brewing or milling or grinding. Then you want to know what comes from this blending. So, so here the, the blend is been pre-cleaned, and then before it goes to the the final uh, destination <laughs> into the hop, you want to uh, have the ver a very precise uh, weight. So you need to know what what how much uh, you have fed into this batch, and. For this one, you use usually granules because uh, the granules are suitable for free flowing products, granular free flowing products with uh, high accuracy uh, regarding to, to weights. And this granule, if you remember, we have also some different options. The, the granule can be equipped with a moisture measurement and the density measurement uh, option. That allows you also to to add some moisture to the to the grain if needed, and there's a brand new device that we will uh, come up with in in a few weeks or month. That is a dampening device, so that uh, this grano measures the uh, moisture and and density and calculates the needed amount of water that has to be added to the product, and this. Uh, device this device adds the water to the product and and and, and so it's, it sprays it on the surface of, of this uh, the passing product so that's a very new one we didn't talk about that much but the scale that is needed in this section is the grano uh, with different options and now we come almost to the end if in this uh, brewing pots here you can add different hops for for adding different flour uh, flavor to the to the beer, and you ha can have uh, different types of hops that can be added. And sometimes you have this. Uh, usually they come in, with in dried pellets, and they are very fra uh, fragile for or brittle. You have to treat them gently, that you don't uh, add uh, already milled <laughs> pellets to the to these uh, pots. Uh, in order that the, the, this flower doesn't uh, swim on the surface of, of, the, of this water. So the pellets had to be treated very gentle. And sometimes you only have to add uh, a tiny little bit to, to each uh, recipe. And then you can use these uh, micro scales for adding these different types of hops to, to the end product. Uh, they are also very uh, suitable for 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 in this job because you can see e they are easy cleanable, so you can mo remove the, uh, the the auger from behind. You can remove uh, the the front uh, pipe. You, we have different options regarding the augers. So if it's a very brittle product, so we have a smaller diameter spiral auger that uh, treats the the product very gentle, and it can be. 
add it into a group of up to seven to, to feed into one single pipe in order to, you know, so that gives you a lot of flexibility. There are also different options. You can uh, refill it manually, like in the picture here, or your, if you need a larger amount of, of products, you can have uh, also an automatic refill of the bins here. If uh, uh, refill is, is more often required than maybe 10 minutes, <laughs> but usually hops is not a, as, as time goes, not as, you don't need as many hops as, as other products in the brewing process. So they, we already come to the end. As you can see, the overview again, intake scales usually are used uh, uh, Gerbo or INSCA because usually you need to have them uh, legal for trade. For blending, most of the time flow balancers are used. If you need uh, the, the right amount and the precise dosing for, for granular products, uh, the grano is very well suited, and for adding minor ingredients to a to a recipe, we usually uh, take these micro dosing devices. So the only thing or the only scale that isn't used here is the macro. Uh, and sometimes we use them for 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 waste uh, for the side products, but uh, these are more mainly used in flour millings but not in breweries, that's why we didn't show any, any macros here. But these four types of, of scales are typically used also in breweries. That's the ins intake scales so, uh, as a gerbo or as an insca, flow balancer for blending, grano for feeding and micro for, for adding minor ingredients. I hope uh, I could give you a little short overview in this short time. And I'd like to thank you for your attendance. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call Swisska or call uh, Southern Illinois Scale, and we're more than happy to, to help you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andreas, for this informative session. I believe that those of you watching now have a pretty good idea about how the Swisska scales can be used in breweries and flour mills. And also, if you need more detailed information of the products that we discussed, you can check out our previous sessions. And if you have any inquiries, feel free to reach out to us and we will assist you. Thank you.